when you jump, your parachute not gonna open right away. The problem with jumping is every successful person I know has jumped. When you jump, it allows your parachute to open and you to sail through life within your gift. But when you first jump, your parachute don't open right away. That ain't how it work. If it opened right away, everybody would jump. When you first jump, you in an uncontrollable fall. It's almost like you're spinning out of control. But you got to stay with the jump because eventually God will put the necessary air up under your parachute and you'll be in the air like you're supposed to. But you're just going through the process. Like I tell my kids all the time, it take a long time to make a lot of money. See, my kids look at me and they be talking about, well, Dad, you, didn't, you ain't got no, no degree. You didn't finish school. Why I got to go to school? Well, first of all, you don't have no jokes. <laughs> let's, let's start there. And my kids don't understand the process. See, they just see me now. They didn't know I flunked out of school. They, they don't care nothing about the third marriage I'm on. They don't know that I lost everything twice. They, all, they wasn't around when I was homeless and I lived in the car for three years. They didn't see the process. What most people do is they give up before God give you the gift. See, when you ask God for something, he box it up and he ships it immediately. But you have to remain on Faith Street in order to receive the gift. The problem is when God box up the gift and he ship it to you, he never gives you the date that the package is going to arrive. He'll never tell you that. Most people move off Faith Street before the package get there. You can't move over on the I Doubted Boulevard. He don't ship packages to I Doubted Boulevard. He only ship packages to Faith Street. You can't get over there on I Don't See How Circle. He don't ship nothing to I Don't See How Circle. So when you move out of faith, the package got to go back to sender. That's what happens. So you have to stay. You have to stay in the process and complete the fall. You're going to get cut up on the rocks. You're going to get your skin toe up. You're going to lose loved ones along the way. You're going to lose friendships along the way. You're going to might lose your car, your job along the way. You might lose your house. But trust and believe that God got you. Name, name one time he ain't never had you. See, here the problem with Christians. You sit them, you say you're a Christian. Name one time God ever let you down. Just name one time. Name it. Name one situation he didn't bring you through. If he ain't bring you through it, he currently bring you through it now. You know how I know that? Because you're sitting in here.